Hey, it's Matty Graham here from Exponential Performance Coaching, back with another Whiteboard Wednesday. Now this week, we're expanding on the video I did a few weeks ago about cramping. We're answering a viewer's questions about some specific sessions that we can do to help reduce our chance of cramping during a race. Before we get onto that, make sure you hit the subscribe button over here. I've got a lot of exciting videos coming up, and I don't want you to miss out. So subscribe now. Get a direct notification every time I upload a video. Now let's take a look at these cramp busting training sessions. Alright, so I've got this question from one of our viewers. He says he's a standard duathlon competitor and he always finds he cramps up on the second run. So 10k run, 40k bike, 5k run. Now while this is specific to the duathlon and the question I got, this can be applied to triathlon, multi-sport, anything when you're running off the bike. And the question was, how can I train better to try and reduce the risk of cramping? So I've come up with my top cramp busting training sessions. So if you remember back to the first video, if you, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll post the link over here and you can get over and check it out. But the key things that are producing cramp or causing cramp is the time, the intensity and the specificity of your training. There's a mismatch somewhere within there uh, with your racing. And what's happening is your neuromuscular system isn't able to fire and keep up with the demands whether it be because it's longer than usual, more intense, or more specific, a specific sort of terrain, that sort of thing. So the first session is a what I call a neuromuscular transition session. And this is all about getting the neuromuscular system to transition between movement patterns, specifically in this case between biking and running. And what the session is, it's a bike run, bike run, with the whole idea of making this last run as much like a racing situation as possible. So these first bike run bike are all about fatiguing the legs as much as possible, fatiguing the neuromuscular pathway, so that you get off your bike on that last time and you've got to run on fairly exhausted legs but also exhausted neuromuscular system. And this is going to help the body adapt to that high intensity and the duration as well. So what it looks like is you've got a 20 to 30 minute bike and a 10 to 20 minute run, depending on what sort of what phase of your training and you can sort of progress it up and build on the time as you like, and also what distance you're racing at. And then the intensity, you want to start off, so this first bike would sort of be about a zone three, sort of moderate intensity, up tempo, and then that run would be the same, sort of moderate, up tempo. And then you jump on for your second set and you want to step things up again. So you want to go from that sort of zone 3 to zone 4 to sort of zone 4 to zone 5 so you're really starting to push the pace now pushing that intensity and specificity we're doing the run bike transition and then as we get on with our duration that last run wants to be at race pace as hard as you possibly can so that's session number one get out give it a go it can be quite good to do these bikes uh, on a wind trainer so you set up your wind trainer just crank it out so you've got no sort of coasting or, or you know traffic lights, uh, stop signs, that sort of thing you got to worry about. Or you can do it out on a quiet stretch of road entirely over to you. So it's really good neuromuscular transition session, not only for reducing cramp, but also practicing your transitions as well. The second session is what I call a neuromuscular endurance session. And this is a long ride with some intervals in there. So this could be anywhere from a 90, uh, 90 minutes to three hour ride. And what I do is usually include some t uh, 10 to 20 minute intervals in there. And then getting off the bike and getting into a tempo run. So somewhere between 30 to 90 minutes depending on uh, what race you're racing for, uh, what you're training for. If it's a shorter race, you want to go with a shorter run, higher intensity. If it's a longer race, say like an Ironman, push the run out a little bit. So that's a neuromuscular endurance session. Again, fatiguing the legs, fatiguing that neuromuscular system and then pushing it out in a run, really targeting that specificity, running off the bike, 
targeting the intensity with the intervals here and the tempo here and then the time in this in this specific case trying to push it out so we train that neuromuscular system to keep firing at the rate we want it to for as long as we want it to so in the four to six weeks before your race you really want to be starting to get into these this is sort of the minimum time if you're really struggling with cramp introduce them earlier introduce them earlier in your training so you hopefully get on top of them so there you have it if you've got any more questions please keep them coming now before you go if you've enjoyed this video check these videos out over here check out my new video series keeping up with the coach where you get an inside look into my training life in general so check that out over here or if you want to really work on improving your vo2 max and anaerobic threshold check out these key training sessions over there but most of all, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I've got lots of exciting videos coming up so you can keep getting the good information so you can train harder. But most importantly, you can train smarter, make the most of your time and maximise your performance.